Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we have a comparison of these two beautiful bags. So if you want to know a comparison about the Jacquemus Chiquito Moyen, Le Chiquito Moyen, and the Jacquemus Le Chiquito Long, then keep on watching. Hi guys, so I just wanted to hop in on here and tell you guys that over 90% of you guys watching my videos aren't subscribed and it would mean the world to me if you guys can just hit that little button down below. It's free and you will always stay updated with my videos and let's continue. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm discussing both of my Giacomo's bags. I actually just purchased this one and I'm not exactly sure if I should keep this one. Um, I'm gonna go into details why and things like that later, but I wanted to compare this one to my trusty little Le Chiquito Long. I've had this bag for eight months, I think, or nine months, and I've been wearing it a lot, so I will also insert some pictures of me wearing it so you guys can see, and I'll, I'll also do modeling shots. I'll also show you what fits inside. So if you're interested in either of these ones, hopefully this video will help you decide which one to go for. So let's begin. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna start off with a new one. So this is uh, the Le Chiquito Moyenne. I just picked this up for 575 euros. I'm gonna give you dimensions really quickly. So this is 18 centimeters wide, 13 and a half tall, and a maximum of seven centimeters in width. Um, it has a long shoulder strap and the strap details also apply to the Le Chiquito Long, so I don't have to repeat. So it has a long shoulder strap that is attached on either side with these clasps that also say Jacquemus and this really gorgeous gold tone. And it has an adjustable strap, so you have uh, five hole options that you can just punch with this little stick, which is really good because you have a lot of size options and um, the strap is adjustable and removable, like I said. It also has this little cute Giacomo's gold writing here. And then obviously this gorgeous top handle that makes it really versatile to wear it on the crook of your arm. If you were like really skinny, you can wear it on the shoulder. I don't know like if it looks good or not. For me, it's kind of tight, but maybe some people like to wear it that way as well. And then you open it up and it comes with an inside pocket, a little small one, and a little cute matching pink uh, emblem. And then you have this cloth material on the inside. Otherwise, it's pretty plain. It doesn't have anything on the back of the bag. And its design feature, it's really simple. But what really spoke to me was the color. I love the color, and that also goes for my other bag. Like, Giacomo's do the most amazing colors. So I'll compare this really quickly to this one. So this one is 22 centimeters long. It's 10.5 um, centimeters high and six centimeters deep. And then it has this shoulder, uh, this little strap that you can wear, like not on the crook of your arm, but you can wear it in your hand. And then you open it up. It has two magnets on either side. Um, there is the shoulder strap inside. The shoulder strap is the exact same one as well it's a little tiny bit thinner actually now that i'm that i'm thinking of it uh, but it also has five holes yeah it's it's a little smaller actually um this is smaller than this i thought it was the exact same one but it's actually not this one is quite thicker but i i guess the strap size should be the same um, yeah, so I have my, mine in the shortest setting, so th um, the length is the same, but um, this one is a tiny bit thicker, just because the bag, it's not bigger per se, but it just looks bigger. And then on the inside, like this one, you have the same material inside, and then you also have this little emblem in this beautiful green color. Um, the other one is calf leather. This is a new book leather, um, so it is it is really prone to have a stains and watermarks, like you can see here. So comparing both of them from the leather, I would definitely say this one definitely wins, even though it's a smooth leather and it um, tends to get um, stains. And I already can see that it has like just from opening it like two times it already has some dents here from opening this so um this will inevitably happen i guess um and then i also have like a scratch but i already contacted customer service because i actually just got this and this already had like a dent 
here but it's prone to scratches but definitely not as delicate as this one this one is way more delicate uh judging from the size um i tried to fit my stuff in this one and i have to say like capacity wise they're quite similar this one just fits my phone i have the iphone 12 pro and i don't know like if like any other iPhone except like I think there is a mini one that one would probably fit in here otherwise I don't think any other iPhone would fit in this bag you would need to have like a really small phone because actually the inside as you guys can see is not really that roomy but I feel like from the amount of items that you can get in here it's almost the same like I would say you can maybe um, get three to four items in there I will show you at the end of the video once like if you're um, interested in that um, just stick to the end or I will put a timestamp to the um, what fits inside in there the Giacomo's Le Chiquito Long I actually paid 515 euros for last year this is in the color uh, this was in the color green, but they don't have it anymore. They just have different colors. They just always come out with different colors. I just adore this color. I still love the color so much. It goes with a lot of different things. I'll insert some outfits here. And now it's 550 euros, so a little price increase, but not too bad at all. Fight like the, like, um, besides the leather uh, being quite, yeah, stained already because I actually took this to Croatia with me and then we were caught in the rain and it just got watermarks on it so that just happened like I always like I try and take care of my bags but I always feel like they're um, still there to be used and enjoyed and um, I don't mind it that much you can see if you take like a picture of it from like up close you can clearly see it or if you come up close you can clearly see it but from a little farther away um you don't really notice it and i don't mind it too much so i really like this from like closing it i think um both are pretty easy this just has one closure and the magnets with a Jac jacquemus are super strong so keep that in mind and um yeah i just think um like from the size they're pretty similar so we will see really quickly some mud shots i would say so i'm gonna pop on my shoulder strap i always take that off and just store it on the inside so for reference um the je quito long is on the ah it's on the fourth setting so not the all the shoulder shortest but almost the shortest and i'll just try it on for you guys and this one is in the third setting i don't want to uh, put it to a different setting because I don't want to um, stretch out this because I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. So I'm going to stand up for you guys so you can see this one. And let's put them side by side um, so you guys can see the comparison. So Le Chiquito Long, baby. And Le Chiquito Moyen, baby. So I think they're super cute. Obviously, this one, Le Chiquito Muyen, you can wear a couple different ways, but you can definitely wear both of these on the shoulder. So let's do it. So this is this one on the shoulder. Super nice, super casual. It doesn't like tip over or anything. Um, this one as well. This one, I'm like feeling both of these. This one is a little softer, but also because probably of the material and also because I've had this like for a long time. So this is it on the shoulder. And then this, you can wear both of these like this, both of them from the back side if you want to see. And then this one, you can't really wear in the crook of your arm. Well, you could, but it doesn't look that good. But this one is super comfortable on the crook of your arm. So those would be both of these and this one, like I said, if you wanted to, you can kind of wear it on the shoulder, but I think it kind of looks stupid on me because I'm, well, I don't have chubby arms, but I just have normal arms and it's just a little too tight. And this one, so those are kind of the modeling shots of each of these. I guess look wise, I'm not the best judge because I picked up both of them. So <laughs> I think both of them are equally gorgeous. Like I love both of them. I love both of the colors so much. Like one thing that I just love about Jacquemus that I don't see any other brand like 
any other brands do as well is colors like they pick the most gorgeous color this is um if I, I don't know if i said it this is in the color light pink and you can actually get it right now so i will link it down below i will also link my le jacquemus bambino grande unboxing down below and for this one i actually did not like the color that's why i sent that one back but this one c'est magnifique je j'aime j'aime Okay, so let's see what's written inside. So I actually film on my phone, so I don't have my phone with me. Um, but I do have a phone case um, that is pretty substantial. So I'll put that in here. And I know this fits because I actually used it like that. So um, the phone fits. And then I take my wallet. Yeah, okay. And that fits. And then you can also take a your airpods and a lippy and you could fit several lippies because you have the length of the bag which is awesome um and it, it closes a little easier i feel like because it has two closures and you can see from the inside that these things fit if you don't have that big wallet like this is a louis vuitton zoe wallet but you for example have the six ring key holder that would fit alongside a little uh, key clay if you have that as well that would both fit as well and i give you a third option um, if you don't have the sync string key holder but if you want to bring your key clay and a card holder that fits even better this is perfect like this is the perfect amount that you can fit in here i'll show you so my phone key clay a um, card holder my airpods and a lippy and this is perfect and this is how i use it mainly um well no i use it with like uh, my key clay as a wallet then i use my six ring key holder uh, my phone and airpods and a lippy and that's all i need we don't even need masks anymore so i'm not bothering to put that in you could also put some tissues if you wanted to that would also fit just you have to make sure that you don't put anything like too high up here because otherwise this flap can't go all the way up but um as you guys can see it fits perfectly it doesn't distort the shape uh, maybe a tiny bit up like out here I've used it like that but this actually is perfect and these bags I have to say even though they're full leather they're super super comfortable and lightweight and one thing I also like about them because I do have some bags that have a lot of hardware like I have my Chloe little Annie bag that has a lot of hardware I have the Lulu shoulder bag from Yves Saint Laurent also has quite a lot of hardware and they're quite loud this bag is super quiet like even if you move it, you can't hear anything. Same with this. Well, this is a little louder because this metal piece is a little more, but yeah. So this is basically how I pack this one. So even though this appears to be bigger, I'll show you that actually not that much will fit inside. So I have I've done a review, so I'll link it. I'm not trying to fit the phone in because I don't think it's good for the bag but I will put the rest. So I will put a card holder. I will put a Louis Vuitton key clay. I will put some tissues. I'll put a lippy and I'll put my herb pods. And that fits perfectly. You could also fit like smaller items. Like you could fit, uh, definitely fit some gum in there as well. You can fit like what do other people take some more lippies i don't know like a compact maybe a compact that's what other people take and then take everything out again the things that i always take um if i can is my zoe wallet and my six ring key holder alongside my lippy and my airpods this actually fits perfect and i want to try something out really quickly because actually i love to get in and out of my uh other jacquemus bag but this one Okay, this is a little awkward. Like if you have it open like this, it's super easy, but you kind of have to like push your boob. <laughs> okay, this is inappropriate. Um, but yeah, so this is it. This is what fits inside. So guys, the real question is, do I keep this despite it not fitting my phone? 
And this is a real question that is very, very necessary for me to know because like look wise, this is one of the most beautiful bags I've ever seen. Like I just love the look. I think this is so gorgeous. I don't know why I think this is so gorgeous because it's so simple, but I just love it so much, but it doesn't fit my phone. Well, I, I guess it becomes quite heavy, but I think this has a little more hardware. Um, but I love that you can actually take the strap and put it on other stuff. Tell me what you think about the uh, phone issue. I would really like to know. So final words, if you're deciding it, um, between them. Well, it, I guess it does, it does depend on what phone you have. And if you mind not having like not having the space to put a phone. So capacity wise, even though this looks smaller, this is way better. Look wise, I would say this appeals to me more right now, but probably because it's new and probably because it's trendy. This one is more classic. It's still that Jack Moose twist, but I think this will stay in my collection for a really long time and I won't get sick of it. On the other hand, this material is so much better than this one. And finally, I love both. <laughs> so do with that information whatever you want. I hope this was at least somewhat helpful. Uh, please help me decide if I want to keep this or not. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Freya keep it or Freya send it back. Please, I would really love to know your guys' opinion because I value your opinion a lot. And you guys have always great advice so thank you so much and i hope you really like this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and comment down below what i just said and i will see you guys for the next video bye guys